Let's face it, remakes are a thing that we'll never get away from, so we may as well get used to them and hope that they are put to good use. To remake games that would desperately benefit from a remake, and from whose remake we, as a society, would greatly benefit as well. So these are the top 7 remakes that need to happen. Now I may have done a show similar to this one in the past, but this time I'm referring to video games that really need a remake. Not that, you know, it would be really nice if Deus Six One had nicer graphics. What well, kind of does, like you just install a mod and it's still super duper excellently playable. For Final Fantasy VII you should have a remake, because the old one is still perfectly playable the way it was meant to be played and hasn't really got any issues. No, I'm referring to games that need a remake for various reasons. Number 7. Darklands You may not really remember Darklands. It was a game made oh so many 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 moons ago in the year 1992 by Microprose itself. It was an RPG that aimed to skirt around the conventions of the RPG, more so than even what Ultima did. Because this wasn't a game set in a fantasy world, this was set somewhere around Germany, Poland, Switzerland, Austria, somewhere around there. It was in the real world, and your characters behaved like real people, they aged, and as they aged they got worse. Well, they, they got weaker, but they got smarter. It was a game that allowed you a high degree of freedom in what you did and how you did it. Gave you the liberty to be as evil as you wanted to in some areas of the world, while still being treated as a saint in some other places because, hey, news was slow to travel back then. Not to say that it was super duper realistic, it still had magic in it and supernatural elements, but it did have basic concepts like, you know, it's probably a bad idea to use a sword against plate armor because, you know, um, not a lot of stuff to cut. On the other hand, you were basically trying to fight Satan to stop the apocalypse. Now, the reason why Darklands could benefit from a remake is, well, for its time it was a really ambitious and innovative game, and it honestly didn't get its fair shake back then because it was up against some really stiff competition, 1992 being the year that every great game ever made was ever released, and it being remade with all the same ideas it had, with all the same level of freedom it had, but you know, in a more playable fashion for today's audience, you know, with an interface that's a bit more friendly, graphics that are a bit less pixelated, but you know, still 2D maybe even. It could do well in small niches for people that like this kind of game. Though honestly, you'd probably have to go all 3D and uh, look a bit like Kingdom Come Deliverance for it to truly sell the authenticity factor it was trying to go for. You know, it does have monsters, but it still, it still feels believable. Number 6. Covert Action This would be an absolutely phenomenal contemporary mobile game. No joke. Covert Action is a game that Sid Meier has mixed opinions about. For one, it's got his name on it, so he probably did like it at one point. On the other hand, he doesn't like the fact that it is basically a collection of minigames. I'd say that that's not necessarily a bad thing because the minigames, regardless of what you may believe of the cryptographic one, they're not bad. They make sense for what the game is about, about espionage, about you trying to uncover the heads of several criminal organizations and bringing them to justice. And that aspect, with slightly modernized graphics, with slightly modernized sound, it would absolutely work. And because everything in it is procedurally generated, so you get uh, different organizations to fight against every time with different objectives, with different characters, with different difficulty levels to all of the puzzles, it is endlessly playable and can be enjoyed at infinity. It's a remake that must happen. Number 5. Thief. Let's face, there isn't a lot of high quality sneaking around left in the mainstream, is there? The last decent one was Metal Gear Solid 5. We also got a Thief 4 that is horrible, so it's about time that Thief 1 got a remake. Notice I say remake, not reboot. Reboot would imply that they're gonna do their own thing, like they did with 4, and it turned out to be kinda crap. No, 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 I mean a remake, a straight up remake on a new graphics engine, but with the same physics or as close 
to the same physics as possible, maybe make it a little bit less awkward, but spruce up the visuals and keep everything else intact. Keep the AI intact, keep the way that sound propagates, keep the way the shadows work, keep the way that the levels are designed, keep everything as it is. Just make it playable for the modern crowds, you know, the crowds that look at something so old and say, oh my god, I don't want to play that, it's too ugly. Because let's face it, those people will never go away and the only way to improve them is to educate them as to what a really good stealth game is. And Thief, well you gotta face it, Thief is... Uh, like imagine a building, imagine the Empire State Building. The tip of it, the very tip of it, is where most high quality stealth games are. You know, Deus Six is the modern ones, your Metal Gear Solids, your Splinter Cells, and then on the moon there's Thief on the dark side of the moon, hiding, and nobody knows it's there, because Thief is kind of obscure now on account of they absolutely bungled the franchise relaunch, I think that's what they were going for, and of course, have the original voice actor, because it would be dumb to not have them. And again, keep everything in the original game intact, because everything in the first game and in the sequel, hell, combine them, make remake both of them and put them in a single game. Technically, that's how most people already play Thief 1, because well, it's compatible with the second game and they just poured over the levels. Make that. Make one continuous single massive sneaking stealing game about Garrett burgling people in a really strange city that is hard to describe. You have to go there and see it for yourself. Number four, Terra Nova Strike for Centauri. Now, I've been a bit conflicted as to exactly which game I should put here because there's a lot of old style games that aren't really a thing anymore. Things like Wing Commander, well, we're gonna get Star Citizen one day, hopefully soon. There was stuff like Strike Commander or the narrative focused kind of open world, not open worldish, but you know, you get a mission and then you're free to do whatever you wanted on a mission and during the mission you got stuff that would help you on your other missions. Well, Terra Nova Strike for Centauri was kind of that. Man, it was made by Looking Glass, so the people that also made Thief, and it went kind of into the exact same amount of insane detail in terms of well, pretty much everything. But it wasn't what you would call like the best possible gameplay experience for a time. And then it came out long after Doom, so it got buried, much like everything was back then because of Doom. And it did have the uh, downside of uh, having FMVs that were kind of horrible and really really undersold the narrative, the story, and pretty much everything else within the game. So remake the game, modern graphics, modern controls, no FMVs, none of the original voiceovers, but with all the freedom that the game originally gave you, with the same mission structure that, you know, sort of evokes reality, where you would get maybe not precise mission objectives, or some missions would just turn out to be a trap that you were expected to, you know, think your way around, not have an instant cutscene where you lose and then get captured and then have to go to a full level without a lightsaber like in that level in Jedi Academy. What a waste of the level. And it could absolutely work today. It is a game that, without a doubt, would find an audience. I mean, Super Bunny Hub just made a video about it so you know other people know it exists. Unlike, um... Number three, Prelude to Darkness. This has been touted many times as the best game that nobody ever played or heard of. It is an RPG quite very much in the vein of Darklands, but it is isometrically pseudo 3D. Well, it is 3D, but it's just top down. And it is more geared towards fantasy, but it is still the kind of game that gives you a lot of freedom in your choices and your actions. It's an RPG that well, I gotta be honest with you, I um, I made a show about it eight years ago. If you look for Prelude to Darkness, my show in Romanian is one of the first things that shows up. It's obscure as hell at this point and I have very vague memories of what exactly the game was about. And I mean very extremely vague. But I know it was good. It was being touted as being at least at the same level as Arcanum, but with better combat. So maybe better than Arcanum? So it's the kind of game that absolutely would need a remake. It was made in a time when well, games like these had no chance. There was no indie craze back then. There were people making games and then just getting lost on the internet. The, the distribution methods in 2002, I think, was made the first time and it was released as freeware, 2006, I think. There weren't methods of distribution that were so public, so well known as Steam is today. It needs a remake so that people may know of its greatness and 
also honestly because it had a lot of bugs and crashes and well they were never fixed so good luck playing cut is this now it is finishable it's just annoying speaking of which number two vampire the masquerade bloodlines now this game does need a remake it needs one not because it's hard to play now or incompatible today systems but it's because it relies on the community having patched it for a decade to work properly over a decade actually remade on the current version of the source engine source 2 even with the way it's supposed to have worked with combat it's a bit you know better put more of the content was cut put back in so it doesn't just have weird things in some places that make no sense with physics that function and with the same basic gameplay ideas with the same freedom with the same mood the same theme the same web of night with everything else in there it'll be fantastic it's it's there was sex with vampires when you break it right down it's a magnificent game that would do so well remade and you know remaking a game paradox is a bit easier than making one from scratch what do you say and it would be a stepping stone to making a new one sometime in the future just saying i mean you do own the game now right it's not still with activision right because if it is then making a remake for it would be kind of hard especially because activision never would but it's not if they would it's it's games that need i mean really need remakes and number one is ultima 4 through 6 yeah it's three games three games that need to be remade is three different games ultima 4 through 6 are a story a single narrative that is very important one that was valid 30 years ago and is still valid today it's a story about people being awful when you break it right down that no matter how much you try people are still fundamentally awful and even their the greatest accomplishment their most altruistic and seemingly best attempts to improve society have a little seed of uh, genocide in them when you break it right down. They're not what you would call super duper playable today. Not at all. I honestly think 6 may be a bit even less playable because uh, it's kind of hard to see where you're going most of the time. So all of them remade, preferably with different styles, so they would still seem like they are different games, not just a continuous experience, would be really effective at retelling that story because you give people time to digest each bit and reflect on it. And if you want to learn more about the story, well, I made a series about it, so go watch that one. It's how Ultima managed to relay complicated films philosophical ideas or something like that it's a long complicated title just look up ultima on the channel and you'll find it these games remake today playable maybe with some enhanced combat mechanics maybe with some enhanced features like inventory you know playable would be glorious so ends the top seven remakes that need to happen a few special mentions are awarded to mdk because honestly we don't really have enough really funny quirky crazy shooters that are just about having fun and of course requel because one of you asked for it in the discord channel when i asked if you had any suggestions about uh, remakes you can join the discord server and if i'm not too busy you can actually talk about shows if you want to not often though because i got two jobs again and it's so fun i'm curious what game do you believe really needs a remake like really needs one in order to enrich the world or at least be really fun fun to play as a remake because it's not really fun to play it now kind of kind of it is too old and has crabby controls and kind of blows looking forward to your comments goodbye